Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you want to go from this to this, stay tuned and I'll show you what I did to do the big three upgrade in my 2008 Dodge Dakota. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a um, big three upgrade to my truck. So that's going to be upgrading the um, power cable from the alternator to the battery and then from the battery to my fuse box and then my ground <clears throat> to chassis and ground to engine so yeah so I'm gonna show you what I'm working with I have some one gauge cable I got some two gauge and some four gauge this is gonna be my fuse from the alternator to here and then either here to my battery or here to my fuse box <clears throat> and then I am going with the Fastronics see that come on sorry it's the Fastronics mil spec battery terminal kit um, number is 940-401 comes with these these are the lugs I've already bought separately <clears throat> And just miscellaneous tools. I bought these crimpers a while ago, so I might as well try to do it. Zip ties, cutters, you name it, we got it. So, alright, so let me show you. Like I said, I have a 2008 Dodge Dakota with a 3.7. So, we're replacing this wire here. As you can see, this is probably like an 8 gauge. I'm not a little bit thinner than that. Um, <clears throat> here is your fusible link goes into my fuse box, power goes to here, and then negative goes to my chassis here, and then I have an engine strap back there. Uh, I think I'm going to probably leave that one alone and probably tie off somewhere here to over here somewhere. Now that I have it unbolted, <clears throat> there is going to be some wires that I'm keeping. So like this down here, that's going to, I believe, the starter and also the engine ground. Same thing with this wire right here on the bottom. This one right here, it goes down. So I'm going to be replacing this top wire, the wire that goes to the alternator to there. Um, since I am putting a inline fuse, I'm thinking about screwing it to here. Only issues, I don't know if you can see them in that corner these batteries have a little tab so I'm about to shave down that battery tab so I can get this battery to slide all the way to the side right here all right guys and then I'm about to shave off the front post also because since this is sitting farther back the battery tied down hits there on that post so if I shave it out, it goes back here and I can still use the stock battery post to hold it down and the also the back little lip to hold it down. All right guys, so now that you see I have that space, um, I'm gonna fill it. I do have some ABS plastic or the what is that called? That polyurethane thing that you use for like cutting mats. Um, I'm gonna probably cut one out and use it to sit in there. Just so for any reason, if I hit a bump, this doesn't come sliding back, hit my my um, my inline fuse and set it off to where I lose power completely. Okay.
drilled my holes. Already checked underneath the battery box, make sure there's no cables I'm gonna hit. And now I'm just gonna use some self tappers to screw them down. Perfect. It gives me about a quarter inch of play for the battery so it's not just completely stiff. Now, we start making our cuts, so this is going to be fun. Alright, so I need to cut this right here. I'm going to try to get it as close as possible to the junction. And I just screwed up. I was supposed to cut that wire, not that wire. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh well, looks like I'm be making a new crimp for that one then. All right, try not to do that mistake on this one. <laughs> oh shit. Well, one thing I'm not liking is that this is going to be exposed. So I'm going to try to see if I can put some heat shrink around it to see if that will help me. But we'll see. All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, battery died too. I have to change it. So after my screw up here, because I cut the wrong one. So it's okay. I have extra terminals. I can make my own terminal here. The only thing it is shorter. <clears throat> so I am going to have to cut these cable ties, pull up the wire a little bit more. I'm actually debating of going down to the starter and completely un undoing it so I can make my own completely good. But now we're going to do place the the, um, the the fuse block back in. So I was thinking of doing something like this right here. I'm just using some self-tapping screws, put it there. Because then I can go alternator to here. And then from here to the battery. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. Yeah, because it's going to be this way to this, this to this, and then this to this, because that's how the, the stock was. So we'll set it up the same way. So <clears throat> when I got my tool, um, I started crimping right away. So I crimped this in. The other side has the stock in. Um, not thinking that I need to measure the bolts because these are going to be a little bit too big. Um, but the good thing is these actually fit the terminals on the battery. So if anything, I didn't waste it. So I can put this one to the terminal for the battery and then make that power connection and then switch to a smaller lug size on the opposite end. So if you're wondering, that's, that's what I'm doing is because I... I got anxious and wanted to use a crimping tool and kind of screwed it up. Well, not screwed it up, but just an implant ahead, I guess you can say.
So I'm gonna do that so that's my guide mark on exactly how I want that lug to sit, okay? Okay. Line up my marks. I gotta make sure my crimps are in the right right section. Shifted kind of out. And that's what heat shrinks for, right? Actually, I'm going to crimp it one more time. Perfect. And now, the tea shrink. Alright guys, so <coughs> that's my take on how you do a uh, the three big upgrade kit to a Dodge Dakota. So as you see, I did mess up on one where I cut the wire when I was supposed to because I was trying to use that terminal. Actually, it's right here. I wanted to use this terminal, but I cut it right here instead of cutting it up here. 
and just using this terminal, but it's okay. I uh, ended up re um, cutting that and then putting my own terminal on it. So you saw me where I screwed up there. Um, super simple. I just took a long time just because of trying to film it and everything. But again, I'm using one gauge wire. Got it from the junkyard. I am using the Milspix um, battery terminals. Um, I'm using, what's this, two gauge? So this is two gauge wire for my negative two, two chassis. Um, there is two wires that I didn't put on there that I'm gonna probably have to do later. Um, is I wanted to add another ground from my uh, PCM to the chassis and then I wanted to add another engine ground to my chassis <clears throat> using the, the two gauge wire. But I have to get more because the one I have is not long enough. So, so oh, and then this is terminal that I used. Perfect. Um, everything else is pretty simple. I started the truck, make sure it's turned on. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.